Well, first I'd like to start by just thanking the fans that stayed. I mean, that was that was impressive, those that stayed and really appreciate their, appreciate their energy and their support. They helped us, no question about it. Um, hats off to Cal. They played better than us. Um, you know, I thought that, uh, you know, just two things jumped out without going and analyzing the tape, but I think we need to tackle better. I think that showed up tonight. I think we missed too many tackles, and we got to get our pass game into a better rhythm. You know, it just seems like we're a little bit out of sorts there and not really throwing the ball like we're capable of and want to throw it. You know, we had some had some drops that kind of stymie us a little bit. That, that, that hurts a little bit when, when it's tough sledding. It's a good defense we're going against, really good secondary. And so all that kind of adds up. But, you know, we ran the ball when we need to. We did move the ball. But we just got to go back to work, clean some things up. I mean, that's that's all on us. What's, what's your approach when you've got a an indefinite delay like that? How'd you manage that? Yeah. Well, approach was they just went in the locker room and relaxed. And, uh, you know, and then we decided to play and the weather kind of broke and they did a good job rallying and going out there to play. And, you know, both sides had to do the same thing and I don't think that had anything to do with the outcome. Or, um, you know, it would have been nice to play the game and keep all the fans in the stadium and all that. That, that, that would have been, you know, really nice. But I think the people that stayed really did a great job and, you know, helped us a bunch. Have you had a delay like that in your career to this point? I've never had one delay. So, yeah, it was different. What, what happened with the clock before that last field goal that eight seconds ran off before you guys called that, that last time out? Yeah. Was- yeah, I probably should have called a little bit sooner. Um, it was a little slow to line up. I wanted him to get in a stance before I before I called it. What did you see in the red zone just as far as, again, ha- having some trouble inside the 10 being able to put it in the, in the end zone? Yeah, I don't know how to put the tape on for that one, but certainly kicking too many field goals isn't going to get it done for us. You know, that was, that was frustrating. Um, yeah, really frustrating. You know, we get down there, we get, a, you know, false start that changed things right there you know we were gonna you know we were gonna go for it and then had to settle for a field goal and and we just got to execute better down there same same old same old situation Chris on the on the tackle is it too early for you to surmise whether guys were in the right place to make the tackle or do you have to look at the tape yeah I think we gotta look at the tape you know I'm, I'm sure it's a little bit of both the guys were a little bit out of position and not fitting off each other like the way we'd like them to and um but it just seemed to me from the naked eye on the sideline, it's just more tackles than we've missed in a while. You know, it just kind of kind of showed up. And we'll take a look at that and have more information, you know, in a couple of days. How much faith did you have in Peyton Henry to deliver that kick, 49-yarder? You know, um, I just didn't want to put him in a bad situation. You know, that's a long kick. And so you're really kind of in that super <laughs> no-man's land gray area with as long as we had to go for the for the first down, um, but he's been kicking really well the last couple weeks. Um, you know, he was kicking well kind of early in camp and then kind of went through a little bit of a rough patch and then he kind of he kind of ironed out his steps and once he kind of figured out what he was what he was off on, he had really been good. And he's, he's obviously got good leg strength. You know, he really does, that's not the issue. It's just, um, you know, if we can line things up correctly and, and keep his plant leg where he needs to keep it and, and all that's lined up, then he, he can make field goals and had a little breeze in his back too. So really, it wasn't a matter of if he was going to get it to the, to the goal post. It was just if it was going to be accurate. And so I think that's awesome. I think it'll be great for his confidence. And um, he's been doing a nice job. Did you give any thought to, to calling timeout after they, they made the pass down to the, the five or the four-yard line or whatever it was? Um, yes. But usually what we want to do is take that after they make a first down. It's usually a little bit better protocol because you lose some time with the sticks and all that being moved. When you have some of the drops you have with the wide receivers tonight, is that mostly a lack of concentration or what do you kind of... Yeah, that's a good question. You know, I don't... I, we got we to gotta look at that a little, little closer. You know, I know some of those, you know... Jacob's got a really strong arm, and those balls, they come fast, you know, and, um, you know, 
well, we got to analyze that. You know, I, I think we can catch the ball better. We just had we had too many too many easy drops that I know those kids can don't usually make. Yeah, and you know when you're playing in tight games, all those all those little things. It's not any one drop, but you add a bunch of them up, and it can it can change things. You might have to see the tape first, but the the pass to Andre in the end zone where he landed just out of bounds. Or anything you'd like Jacob or Andre well, to do? Well, yeah, I, I, you know, I, I just maybe just a little more awareness. You know, they were. I know that she, that's a hard. It's easy for me to sit here and say, you know, but they're. Um, you know, he, Andre's running away from traffic and knows he's got guys trailing him and all those things. But um, yeah, that was close. That was close. Chris, was there any thought of letting them score after they got the first down? Yeah, we always have that conversation, but um, so yes. There wasn't, you know, a little bit, but, you know, they were running the ball a little bit, and, you know, trying to get that ball out and, you know, and then watching him kick field goals, you know, it wasn't, he did a great job, but a little bit lower trajectory, and so we just kind of decided to see if we could get it out and then see if we could block it. I mean, you're in a bad situation. It shouldn't have got to that. You know, I mean, right there, your 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 back's up against the wall, but that was a, a thought for one second. A couple more. When you have some of those drop issues, do you think about turning to uh, some of those younger receivers a little bit more? Um, you know, we really have caught the ball pretty well in practice. You know, we're such a practice-oriented team <clears throat> that, um, you know, we'll just have to look. Yeah, I mean, everybody, you know, if guys... Um, you know, it's always about competition and if the guys aren't doing what they need to do, but it wasn't any one guy, you know, kind of spread it around a little bit. And those young guys, will, they'll keep developing. They're working hard. And, um, you know, we plan on getting them in the games more as, as we go. But sometimes it's, you know, early in the season when, when they're still pretty young, you got to grow them a little bit.